Sarah Dalwani. Taha Jirda. Andromeka Etini. Mariam Ishrat. Aaron Jamal. Gator Joe, now uh, Joseph. <laughs> Maria Khan. Nazis Khan. Anika Kapoor. Prashant Kaul. <laughs> Lokia Ananoi. Karishma Kutali. <laughs> the Doris Latin Williams. Lisa Lee. Rahil Morani.
Pari Nakrani. Jude Agua Agua. Shashin Patil. Nina Kasim. Jashjit Singh. Great saying. <laughs> Nina Odensi. Yes. Let's give everyone a round of applause one more time. so proud of each of you. I know I've been talking with you for so long with interviews and everything else and um, we're going to have a few words from uh, Lamana Tyson who is our SGA Vice President. So Lamana, you want to come on up and just say a few words to the new students. I hope you guys are enjoying IU so far. Um, my name is Lamana Tyson. I am currently the Vice President of SGA. I've met some of you already, and some of you I still have yet to meet. Uh, I will be assisting the president with activities for you guys, including multicultural dinner, in which all of us will bring a dish from our own countries and eat. <laughs> um, we also have a welcome party for you guys. I did say that it was going to be Sunday, but it's postponed to Sunday, so we could actually prepare better for you guys. Um, hoop it up, that's a basketball game. But like that's enough about SJ and all the activities that we have planned for you guys because we'll talk about that some other time. We're gonna have meetings and so forth. But what's really important is that you guys are here and you guys made it to medical school. That's a huge step. Yeah. I've had the pleasure of meeting you guys and answering all your questions and your concerns just the same way I had a lot of questions and concerns so when I came in and I wanted people to people to answer me. Um, IU is a small school. IU is a small school, but at least you won't get lost and you won't be a, a, just a social security number. The professors are excellent. They know their information inside out. Um, you guys have Dr. James and Dr. Keys and um, Dr. Matthew, and from what I heard, Dr. Matthew and Dr. Keys are great professors. I've had the pleasure of having Dr. James as a professor, and trust me, like you're straight for biochemistry. <laughs> Keep in mind that medicine is not hard. 
It's just a lot of information to absorb. At times it may feel like it feels very <coughs> overwhelming, but don't be worried. Everyone feels like that at some point. Just pace yourself, take short breaks in between, and you'll be fine. The upper class ones are also here to help you. Since uh, since I stepped foot in I in IAU, it's everyone has been like a family to me. They were always willing to help, always saying, if you need help, ask me. If if you have any questions, ask me. If you need anything, ask me. They were never selfish, and I hope we continue to be that way at IAU. I know when it came up to boards time. I was always like, what do I study for the boards? I like, how are the questions gonna look? I was very scared and nervous about taking it, and you're probably gonna be the same way, but we're gonna be there to assist you if you need anything. Uh, we've all pretty much been through what you're going through right now, so if you need advice, we're here. Just keep focused on your goal, remember what you guys are here for, and all will be well. Okay, well, one of my professors, when I was graduating from actually junior high school, he wrote in my yearbook something that, a quote that I always keep with me, and it's, good, better, best, never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. So just keep that in mind. You'll be okay. So we're going to go back a little bit. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the Hippocratic Oath. So Dr. Ragu, please come on up. And Dr. Ragu is going to lead you all in the Hippocratic Oath. You should all have a copy of that. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. So the Hippocratic Oath is an oath traditionally taken by the doctors swearing to ethically practice medicine. So the oath which we are going to take today will be a modified version of the traditional version. And this oath introduces our students to the medical course and conduct. So dear students and physicians, can you stand up for the oath? Let us start. I publicly acknowledge and accept the privileges and responsibilities given to me as a physician in training and dedicate myself to provide care to those who need. I publicly acknowledge and accept the privileges and responsibilities given to me as a physician in training and dedicate myself to provide care to those who need. I approach all aspects of my education with honesty and integrity, embrace opportunities to learn from the patients, teachers and colleagues. I will always maintain the highest standards of professional conduct. I will always maintain the highest standards of professional conduct. I will certify only that which I have personally verified and I will never receive or not give unauthorized assistance on examinations. I will certify only that which I have personally verified and I will never receive nor give unauthorized assistance on examinations. I will value the knowledge and wisdom of the physicians who have preceded me. I will value the knowledge and wisdom of the physicians who have preceded me. I will recognize my weakness and strengths and strive to develop those qualities that will earn the respects of my patients, parents, my colleagues, my family and myself. I will recognize my weakness and strengths and strive to develop those qualities that will earn the respects of my parents, colleagues, my family and myself. I will respect the humanity, rights, and decisions of all patients and attend to them with compassion and without bias. I will respect the humanity, rights, and decisions of all patients and attend to them with compassion and without bias. I will maintain patient confidentiality and be tactful in my words and actions. I will maintain patient confidentiality and be tactful in my words and actions. I will value the diversity of the patient's experiences cultures and beliefs because it enhances my ability to care for them and enrich my education. I will value the diversity of the patient's experiences, cultures and beliefs because it enhances my ability to care for them and enrich my education. 
I will not forget that there is an art to medicine as well as science, and the warmth, sympathy, and understanding are integral to patient care. I will not forget that there is an art to medicine as well as science, and the warmth, sympathy, and understanding are integral to patient care. I will strive to earn the trust of my patients placed in me and the respect that the society places upon my profession. I will strive to earn the trust of my patients placed in me and the respect that the society places upon my profession. I will recognize the privileges afforded to me as a physician in training and promise not to abuse them. I will recognize the privileges afforded to me as a physician in training and promise not to abuse them. Even as a student, I have a responsibility to improve the standard of health in my community, to increase access to care to the underserved and to advance medical knowledge. As I accept these new responsibilities, I will not forget the importance of my own health and well-being. Even as a student, I have a responsibility to improve the standard of health in my community, to increase access to care to the underserved, and to advance medical knowledge. As I accept these new responsibilities, I will not forget the importance of my own health and well-being. I will continue to value my relations with those who have supported me in the past, and those who will share my future. I will continue to value my relations with those who have supported me in the past and those who will share my future. Knowing my own limitations and those of medicine, I commit myself to a lifelong journey of learning how to cure, relieve and comfort with humility and compassion. Knowing my own limitations and those of medicine, I commit myself to a lifelong journey of learning how to cure, relieve and comfort with humility and compassion. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Raghu. <coughs> We're now going to have Dr. Adesanya come and give the white ceremony remarks. So please welcome Dr. Adesanya. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, friends, finally, my junior colleagues. <laughs> Yesterday, I couldn't refer to you as my junior colleagues because you are still laymen. But now you have been formally admitted into the medical profession. Why could